Hello and welcome to OBS Setup and Stream, your easy guide to OBS Studio for Crafters. I'm Anthony Minnis from Mix Media. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Move Transition plugin to zoom your webcam into a certain part of your screen. It's really nice and easy to follow, but just make sure that you have the Move Transition plugin already installed in OBS Studio. If you like the contents of my videos, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, without further ado, let's jump into OBS Studio. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create a new scene. So click on the plus there and then we're going to call this one Zoom Camera. Click on OK to confirm. Right, now you need to click on the plus under sources and go up to video capture device. So click on that one, then click on add existing and we're gonna use our webcam, click on okay. So there is our webcam. At the moment, it's upside down to what I want. So I'm just gonna rotate it. So right click on the webcam source, go up to transform and then rotate 180 degrees. Hey presto, we have now moved the camera around and rotated it. Now go up to the zoom camera in scenes, click on filters and then once you're in fields, click on the plus and go up to move source. We're going to name this one zoom out and click on OK. And then we're going to add another one. So we're going to go move source again and we're going to call this one zoom in. So I think you know where we're going to be going. Click on OK to confirm that. So now just click on the zoom out to start with and then we're just going to go down here and go get transform. That is going to fix the coordinates of the image that's already on the screen. Go down to the bottom to the actions and we're going to go on the next move. We want to scroll down to zoom in and then we want to go hotkey. Okay so in the zoom in again we're going to click on the zoom in and then we're just going to drag it down the side there and we're just going to grab the image that's on the screen and we're going to scale it so just to where we want the camera to actually zoom in to when we're happy with that we're then going to go back in and we're going to click on the get transform that will set the new coordinates of the brand new position and scaled factor of the image going to scroll all the way down there and on the next move we're going to go zoom out okay and again we're going to go hot keys now we're going to go into settings so click on settings there and then once you're there click on hot keys and then you need to just find that certain part of the scene within the hotkey so just keep on scrolling until you find it there it is zoom camera so we're going to assign a hotkey to this one I'm just going to type in the letter V and then also V for out as well I'm going to click on apply and OK right now we're going to actually just check that so I'm going to press the V on my keyboard and there you go we zoom in it's a little bit fast at the moment so go up to the zoom camera in sources click on the filters again and we're just going to change the custom duration at the moment or the standard or the default is 300 we're going to change it to 5000 and then click on OK and now we're going to test it again so pressing the V and there you go that's a nice slow zoom in and V again and then that will zoom out so if you like the contents of my videos, please click on the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new and click on the notifications button. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new videos I upload to my YouTube channel. That's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching.